Good morning, Aqua friends. It's Miss Julie, and I am super excited to share with you a new resource today that I have found called Raz Kids. And Raz Kids is an excellent resource for us to use with lots of different books, books that we can share together, books that also can be read aloud to you. So, I thought it was super exciting because today I'm going to read you a story with lots of the letter K. And we know this week we're talking about the letter K. Now, just to review, we know the letter K says K, K, K. That's right, friends. And this story is called Katie and Kenny's Junk Art. Now, if you noticed already some K sounds, give yourselves a pat on the shoulder. Friends, you might hear K sounds at the beginning of the word, like K Katie. You might hear a K sound at the end of the word, like junk. K All right, so you be listening. And every time you hear a K sound, either at the beginning, the end, maybe even in the middle, you go ahead and clap your hands. All right. So this story is called Katie and Kenny's Junk Art. It's written by Joe Slade, and the pictures, or the illustrator, is Tad Butler. All right, friends, let's get started. Katie and Kenny's Junk Art. Katie and Kenny had been best friends since kindergarten. They liked to take walks on the beach near Kenny's house. Ooh, Kenny lives close to the ocean. They often found different kinds of things that the sea had washed up onto the shore. If they found something interesting, they took it back to Kenny's house and kept it in a box in the kitchen. I'm hearing lots of K sounds. Kenny's dad said the things they were found were junk, but he let them keep them anyway. Katie and Kenny had a rusty kettle, some fishing hooks, a sports mask, a few old forks, and a lot of other bits and pieces. It's not junk, Dad. One day, we're going to make some works of art out of these things. Wow, what a great idea Kenny has. He's going to use these things to make art. Hmm. Friends, do you see how Miss Julie is using the arrow and I'm pushing the arrow to get to the next page? When you're looking at stories by yourself and hearing the read-alouds, you will also push the arrow. All right, let's get moving. One windy day, Katie asked Kenny to help her fly her kite. It was a big red kite that Katie had made from a kit her friend Kevin gave her for her birthday. They went to the beach to fly the kite. The beach was a perfect place to fly kites because there were no trees to get tangled in. Katie's big red kite flew high in the sky. Friends, Miss Julie has gotten kites stuck in trees before. So Katie and Kenny had a terrific idea to fly their kite on the beach. Kenny ran, holding the kite's string tightly in his hand. Katie was running in front of him, looking up at the kite. Suddenly, Katie's foot kicked against a box, half buried in the sand. She fell over the box and onto the beach, and then Kenny tripped over Katie's legs. As Kenny fell, he let go of the string and the kite flew off, oh dear, never to be seen again. Oh, good grief. I'm sorry, Katie, I lost your kite. Don't worry, Katie said. Forget about the kite. Look what's in this box. They took a closer look. The box was full of spoons and keys and other very interesting metal things. Wow! It's just what we've been needing for our works of art, Kenny said. 
they went back to Kenny's house to get his wagon to move the heavy box. That was a good idea. After they loaded the box into the wagon, Kenny's dog, King, helped them to pull the treasures to their house. The other kids in the neighborhood didn't see Katie and Kenny for three weeks. <whistles> That's a long time. The two friends were hard at work making art with all of the things they had found. Then one week end, kids from all around gathered at Kenny's house when they saw something strange outside. Wow, wonder what they're seeing outside. Can you make a guess? There were two large items, one on each side of Kenny's gate, but the kids didn't know what, what they were because they were both under sheets. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to find out. The group of children had grown large by the time Katie and Kenny showed up to unveil, that means uncover, their works of art. The kids cheered when they saw Katie and Kenny pull away the sheets. Kenny had made a big kangaroo, and Katie had made a wonderful koala. Katie and Kenny's work of art became famous, and people came from miles around just to get a look at the kangaroo and koala. All right, friends, I hope you enjoyed the book, Katie and Kenny. Now, I hope that you also were able to find a lot of K words, K words that began with K, ended with K, and had some Ks in the middle. All right, bye friends.